In July of last year, I did a review of the Sure Trifecta. It was the 24, the 35, and the 55, all T1.2 APS-C Cine manual lenses. Now, today, they are expanding that lineup with these two new lenses, the 16mm T1.2 and the 75mm T1.2. And the cool thing about these two lenses is that they are identical in size to the first three. So now you have a set of five lenses that you can buy a couple of, or you can buy the entire set, and they all share the same sizes, the same gear ring positions, and very, very similar weights. So let's check these out. Packaging has not changed. You get a nice box, warranty, and user manual, microfiber pouch, plastic lens caps, and the lens itself. These come in two different colors, boring black or kind of exciting metal gray, which I have to say on my FX30 looks quite good. It's not incognito, but it's different, and it makes this set stand out from numerous other sets on the market. These lenses are all metal in build with metal rear mounts, no electronics, and no weather sealing gaskets, unfortunately. In typical cine lens fashion, the aperture ring and the focus ring is labeled on both sides with yellow text so your friends standing on either side of you know what your lens settings are. And just like the previously released lenses, everything is smooth. Finishes are great, tolerances are tight, they feel premium, well made. The blue accent ring is nice, there is little to complain about in terms of handling on these lenses. Weight is 556 grams for the 16 millimeter and 580 grams for the 75. You don't get any lens hoods, but I suppose that's because the pros will use their own matte boxes and focus pullers and make giant rigs for these lenses. The nice thing is that they are all the same size and similar weights, so swapping them out on a big rig should be easy work. So let's take a look at how these lenses perform. I took them out with my Sony FX30, and here are some of the videos that I shot with them. All of these are straight out of the camera, no color profiles, no picture settings, no modifications, no color grading. Ready, set, go. All right, so the performance is basically identical to the previous three lenses in this set, and that is to say they are not tack sharp wide open, which may or may not be a good thing depending on how you want to look at cine lenses. Now what I wanted to do to show you guys this difference is compare these two lenses to two known very sharp lenses. Here is the Sure 16mm wide open versus the Sigma 16mm at f1.4. Here is the center. And here are the corners. As expected, there is a difference. Next, I compared the 75mm Sure to the very sharp Viltrox 75mm f1.2 
both wide open. You can see there is a difference and in the corners, more of the same. So if you were to just look at comparisons, you may think that these lenses are disappointing. But again, cine lenses are less about sharpness and more about consistency in color and rendition and similar sizes, having low focus breathing, that sort of thing. And on their own, when you are out shooting video, you likely won't be wishing for anything sharper when telling your visual story. Distortions are fairly well controlled. The 24 millimeter does have some vignetting, but barrel distortion seems okay. The 75 millimeter looks a little better in the vignetting department. As far as chromatic aberration, there is some of it if you shoot into the sun and have some contrasting lines. Now using these lenses out in the wild was straightforward and easy. The manual focus rings rotate about 270 degrees, so you can always find that perfect point to nail focus. The 75 millimeter, which on my FX30 is equivalent to about 112 millimeters on a full frame camera, was a little bit more difficult to nail focus on, but the result super blurry backgrounds made the effort worth it. The 16 millimeter on the other hand should be much easier to focus which it was, but on my sample copy, the focus was slightly sticky at moments in the rotation, which made it annoying at times. I don't think this will be an issue on the final production model as the previous set of lenses I tested didn't have any issues. Now, as far as focus breathing, here is what the 16 millimeter looks like racking from one end to the other. And here is what the 75 millimeter looks like from one extreme to the other. I will say that the bokeh rendering on the 75 millimeter in particular is excellent. It's smooth and not distracting. For those portrait style shots where you want the focus to be on the subject, it does not disappoint. That's all thanks to the T1.2 maximum aperture, which also makes these lenses formidable in nighttime situations. After all, they are called the Suray Night Walker series. Pricing on these lenses is set to be around $339 USD when they launch on Indiegogo today. Now I don't know if that's special early bird discounted pricing or if that's just the regular price, but for around $330 USD, if you are trying to set up your own little collection of manual focus Cine Prime lenses, you really can't go wrong with these. And that's the key. These lenses are manual, so the focus rings move real lens elements inside. It's not electronic where a rotation sends a signal to a motor that makes a move. So if you want to control focus and use it to tell a story, this is a whole lot better than a lot of other lenses out there. For the money, you get a good set of lenses that are beginner friendly, but also allow you to build out a professional looking rig. You get consistent colors, identical sizes, near identical weights, gear rings in the same spots, internal focusing, super fast T1.2 performance. There's really a lot to like here. So these are definitely not optically perfect, but most of the time, I'll be honest, my wife complains that the sample shots that I take of her are far too sharp in her eyes anyway. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. As always, if you guys are interested in picking these up and getting early bird pricing, check out the link down in the description. Let me know your thoughts on this lineup of lenses. Do you own the previous three or any of the previous three? Are you interested in buying one of these? Curious to read those down below. Stay tuned for more. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.